We need to talk, boys, we need to talk about giving, about charity, about love for other people and about compassion and how important that is in our lives, yet not enough people do it. So recently I've been looking into a bit of Buddhism. I went through a big Buddhist phase back in the day, but now I'm kind of getting back into that. And a big idea in Buddhism is this thing called the paramitas or paramitas. And it's these crucial values that everyone must have inside of Buddhism in order to further their practice. And two of them are very interesting to me, and that is the paramita of compassion and the paramita of giving, otherwise called the paramita of dana. It's another idea that was spoke about a bit in the Dharma Bombs, which is a book I recently recommended by Jack Kerouac. But what does it mean? It basically, it speaks to the idea of love, of us at the moment not loving our fellow man enough anymore. It's about the importance of giving something back to the people around you, whether that be your time, whether that be something physical or monetary, whether that be some kind of service. And I'm going to give an example here, which is going to sound a lot like me bragging, but it was a point of realisation for me that I don't really do this thing enough myself, and it's something I'm trying to do more. But I was walking down the street the other day, and I saw an old man struggling to bring in his wheelie bins after they'd done a bin day. And I was with two other friends, and we were all kind of walking by, and I thought for a second, why not I just stop and help this guy? And so I turned around and I said to him, oh, do you want a hand with that? And he was like, yeah, please, that'd be so great. And I brought the bins in for him and he said, thank you. And it was all around just a very positive and fulfilling experience. And it made me think that, well, on the one hand, it made me think I wouldn't do that thing two years ago. If two years ago I'd walk past someone, I'd completely ignore them and distract them. Sorry, and distract myself from it. Because... I think a lot, of, a lot of the problem with charity is that people are actually afraid to do it for one reason or another. I think within us there's a certain anxiety to do good things, which is a very weird concept, but it's something that you need to start positively breaking down, or at least actionably breaking down, by forcing yourself to do these good things, even though they might seem uncomfortable at first, because I know for a fact, and maybe this sounds like you right now, but if I'd walked past an old man who was struggling to do something back in the day, I would have just kept walking. I would have averted my gaze from him. I would have tried everything not to be put in a situation where I had to help him. There's been so many times like that in my life that I regret so much and I think back on them, I wish I could have just done something. When I see someone fall over and I don't do anything. And I think everyone can relate to this experience of maybe something bad happening and watching other people rush in to help but feeling a kind of paralysis that you can't do it yourself and the regret that follows that you weren't there to make a difference. You couldn't be the kind of hero in that regard. And I'm not saying that I'm a hero for helping this man put his bins in but I think the point I'm trying to make is you need to start actively breaking down the anxiety surrounding helping others, surrounding compassion. I think as a society, and definitely as a group of men in this tribe, we can honestly make a very positive impact on the world if we just try. So many of us don't even try to be compassionate, to be loving, to see our fellow man as an extension of ourselves rather than as a separate being. And if you can break down that wall of difference, that duality, that thought of us versus them, and you can start to help the people around you, then positive and profound things will start happening in your life. I mean, on a very selfish level, it feels great. So when I helped that man, for example, I felt really good afterwards. I felt happy that I'd done something good. When you make a positive impact on someone, it feels good. When I have the calls with the people on my Discord, by the way, book a free call, it's in the description, I feel good for having done them. It's an important thing to add compassion and love back into our lives and I think if you can do it, it will have a more profound change in your heart and in your body than anything else. It's, it's what I like to call one of the cornerstone habits, so the habits that other things form around. It's quite a simple thing to do at its core, but giving to people, so if you walk past a homeless man, giving him money, going into a shop and buying him food, bringing him an old coat if it's cold, or cooking him a nice hot meal. These things that 
really, they don't even cost money. I mean, I remember this as another example, again, me bragging. But back in the day, it was a year ago maybe, it was very cold, it was winter, and I walked past and I saw a homeless man wearing just a jumper. And I remembered I had an old Parker coat that I never wore anymore, and so I brought it and gave it to him. And, and I saw him the next few days and he was happy and smiling and he thanked me every time, which on a very selfish level made me feel good. But that doesn't detract from the fact that it's a good act. And so it's important to do these things. It's important to, to break the anxiety cycle and do things for your community. Just do things that are loving and that are compassionate. And, and it will change you in ways that you don't understand. It will make your soul more soft and calm and it will give you a more positive and tranquil outlook on life. When you love people and give back to them, you get this kind of karmic feeling. And karma is, is obviously a very spiritual idea. It doesn't have much factual basis. But psychologically speaking, there might be... Well, there is the argument that if you give to people, it does make you feel good. And feeling good obviously brings positive things into your life just in itself. So. I think the point of the video is basically try hard to break the cycle. Next time you see someone that you could very meaningfully help, do it. Make it a mission to yourself that you will do that thing. In fact, actively seek opportunities to help people. Just do it. If you see an old lady struggling to put bags into her car, ask her if she wants help. If you see a homeless man on the street, ask him if he wants food. Talk. Just be a positive person in this world. Be a positive spirit inside of this community and give back to it in any way that you can. Actively seek out these opportunities to give and seize them. That is the point of this video. It will be good for the world. It will be good for you. So just do it. Anyway, if you gained any value from that video, drop a subscribe and come and give me a call or chat to me on the Discord. I'm so proud of you, brother. Manifest excellence. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.